so if you couldn't tell, that unboxing sequence actually wasn't live. These came in the mail yesterday, uh, and I wore them around a little bit, went to the mall. But these shoes popped up on my radar, I want to say about three or four weeks ago. Um, and then uh, la earlier last week, I went to the mall, our local mall, and I went to like every single shoe store. I think like five different shoe stores maybe, and they were sold out everywhere. And so eventually I was like, okay, let me just order these online. So I ordered them, uh, they came yesterday, and so I thought I'd just take pictures of them because they're really cool shoes, and why not make a video about the pictures I take? So let's dive into it. If you don't know me, I'm actually like a really big beach bum. Like that's kind of what I'm known at school. I'm the kid who does photography, and I'm the kid who's all beach themed and really, really into the beach. I don't know if you can hear my brother. Every time I try to film, it's... There's always some sort of noise every time I try to film, but it's all good. Um, but yeah, I'm a huge beach bum, so when I saw these, I don't know, it was like Instagram ads? I don't really know where I first saw these, but this color combination is called Tropical Twist, so you know I had to get them. Like, Tropical Twist, like, that's the most John thing ever. So, uh, I got them, and this is really my first time doing, like, a POV tutorial photography shoot thing, so bear with me, I'll try my best. Uh, I also have not planned out the shots I want to do. I haven't practiced the shots I want to do. I'm just doing this unscripted. Uh, so we will figure this out together, won't we? So this is some of the stuff I'm working with. We got a LED light right here. Here's the shoes. Uh, we got another LED bulb right here, a ring light. And then um, this camera, I do not trust this camera, especially the kit lens acts like all wonky. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to start recording on my phone and then I'm going to use this camera to take the photos because I don't really trust that Nikon, especially with the kit lens because the outer edges get like all weird looking and it just like doesn't look good. So I think we're going to switch to the phone. So yeah. So I have set up the first shot. We're doing the very classic, you know, shoe in the box, shoe in the side. I have the, I have this light panel, um, back here. I'm uh, just casting a glow onto the back cardboard, um, and I matched it to the color of these shoes, or just about as close as I could. There has to be a better way to film this, because this seems like really weird, but whatever. Um, I'll figure it out. This chair is very loud. We have the softbox right here, and let's line up the shots. Um, I'm just going to be shooting in manual, because, yeah. We're going to turn this side light on uh, just to cast a little more glow on this shoe right here. And then we're going to snap that picture. Okay, uh, I don't really know how I'm going to do this, but here is the completed picture now after I edited it and everything. So the second photo that we're going to try to get is of the Air Jordan logo. Um, I gotta be honest, I'm kind of new to shoes. I've just kind of gotten into shoes and a shoe being a shoe person. So I have no idea if this is like a vintage logo or anything like that. Um, so if you know, I would greatly appreciate it if you corrected me in the comments, but we're gonna get this logo right here. Um, maybe a slightly darker photo. So just maybe illuminating it by one of these LED uh, like color lights. So let's get that picture. So I'm gonna turn softbox off. One thing you wanna remember, especially with like product photography is you're like showing off a product. Granted, I'm not, you know, like selling these to Nike or anything. I'm just doing it for fun. But uh, if you are, you know, taking product photography for a company, you want to make sure that the product looks its best. You want to make sure it's clean. Uh, you know, with shoes, there's no like dirt on it. Uh, since I've already worn these, I have some dirt on the bottom. Uh, but I try to clean it off as much as possible. Uh, and I'm not really taking pictures of the bottom. But I like cleaned off any smudges or anything on the sides of the shoes, any dust specks. So uh, especially if you're taking those like macro shots, it's really close up, like what I did with the logo. They look its absolute best. You know, it's not showing any wear and tear or anything like that. So you want to make sure that the shoes are as clean as possible. You can use an air compressor to blow it off, you know, a wet towel. It really depends on the product, but just make sure that that product looks as good as possible. So the next shot I want to do is just your like classic, just top down shot. 
I am going to turn off the soft box because I want to make it a little more moody. If you've ever like looked at a color wheel or you're into videography or photography, you know that like the teal and orange uh, color combo is very, very popular. Uh, right now I got my orange light right here and then I got the blue light and so I'm going to be kind of casting like complementary uh, colors. So as you can see right here we have uh, orange, teal, you know, opposite sides of the color wheel. Um, so I'm going to get a nice top down shot very similar to this, and then I'm just going to be taking this ring light and putting it on top just to give it a little extra light so it's not completely dark. We're getting in the shadows just a little bit with this light right here. So for the next shot, we're going to try a long exposure. So that's basically where you set a long exposure on your camera and then you take some sort of light source and draw an image, something like that, to add kind of like a cool effect to the picture. So for this shot, I have the shoe set up. We have the left shoe, so we're able to see the Air Jordan logo. And then again, I have the complementing colors in orange with this, uh, you know, RGB light, and then teal with this RGB light, kind of like splitting the difference, mixing in the middle, and then illuminating each side. And then I'm gonna set a long exposure, maybe two and a half, three seconds, and then take my phone flashlight and then make a circle or a swirl around the shoe. So I finished doing the light leaks using my phone. Obviously I couldn't record because I was using this camera to take pictures of the shoe and then my phone to use the flashlight. But I do want to try one more shot with this like lightsaber thing that I'm like using instead of a, um, instead of like one of those like RGB poles because I don't have one. So I'm going to use this lightsaber which turns on randomly. It's very broken. It's the most annoying noise ever. And turn off, turn on. But I'm going to do another one that kind of wraps around looking like a cone shape above, kind of look like it's being like pulled up by like a UFO or something like that. So let's try that. I'm gonna start the timer. Let's try this. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for sticking around. I think this is actually gonna be a really, really funny video to edit because the pictures are gonna turn out really good. And then the rest of like the A-roll is gonna be really not good because I'm kind of all over and I'm switching cameras between this and my phone and it's no bueno. Uh, but you've already also seen that. But I hope you found this video pretty interesting. Uh, I'm John from 16 Views. If you did enjoy the video, if you did want to subscribe um, or drop a like on this video, that would mean so much to me. Uh, I haven't been posting a lot. It's been really crazy with school ending. I was visiting family. I just started working two jobs now. Uh, so it's been very busy, but I'm trying to upload content a little more regularly. But stick with me on this YouTube photography journey. I really appreciate it. I'm John from 16 Views. See ya.